What is going on, my super sandwiches? Ramsa here, and today I'm joined by the one and only Quaman. Hi, Quaman. Alrighty, guys, it is Quaman here today. Fun fact if you ever run into Quaman in person, he doesn't say hello to you, he says, Alrighty, guys, he does Quaman here today. He does his full intro every single time. No, he doesn't actually do that. Every time. <laughs> no, but today we're going to talk about Shampa's character because now we finally got a look at him or what he's like in the anime. I mean, he did pop in there, here and there, back uh, uh, in the early stages of Dragon Ball Super, but not really, and we never really got a uh, chance to understand what kind of character he was. He was very mysterious, we know that he looked like Beerus, he was the large version of Beerus, and we will later find out he's the brother of Beerus, uh, but outside of, outside of that, we didn't really get to, to know much about this character, and now we finally got to know what he's like, and I gotta say, I am highly impressed. You know, when Beerus was first introduced, I remember the exact thoughts going through my mind, that were like, why is there a Pokemon fight against Goku? And I was kind of disappointed with the design of Beerus at first, but ironically, Beerus is not my favorite character because he's awesome. He's very powerful, he's funny, he's got a very interesting personality, and he's just, you know, I even learned to like his character design. So, like, Beerus to me became an awesome character. And he and eats now, a lot like you. And he eats a lot like me. <laughs> and uh, now we got, you know, Shampa on the scene, and, you know, again, with Shampa, I was kind of like in between just wondering what the hell was going to be, uh, I guess, the, the, the thing with the Shampa that makes him special. And now that I've seen him, he's, he's hilarious, he's awesome, he's funny. You know, his design's kind of goofy, but again, it fits with his personality. I love Vados, too. Vados is, is like the, uh, he's like the, his yin to his yang, if that makes sense. Like, they make a good team, essentially. So, I gotta talk, I, basically, the whole the point of today's topic is to talk about Vados and Shoppa's characters and how you guys feel about it. So, in the comment section below, let us know your thoughts uh, on the first impression you had about Vados and Shoppa. And then, now, the second one, if you watched episode 28, whether you liked them or not, what you think they're going to do. Basically, anything that you can talk about Vados and Shoppa, drop in the comment section below. But, uh, that's pretty much for my intro. Kwaman, how do you feel about Shoppa and Vados? Start with Shoppa first, of course. Yes, well, Shoppa, I find that he's a very, well... Let me just say that I was kind of shocked, to be honest, because when we first saw that picture of, like, Shampa holding, like, the earth at his fingertips... Wasn't it you who was, like, 100% guaranteed? And, like, uh, wasn't it you who said that he's definitely the villain? Yeah, me and it, it was, was me and Dragon Ball Nation. No, we did a video, too. Now that, now that I remember, I actually yep. just remember as we're doing this. You were very much dead set on he was going to be the villain, but how do you feel, you know, about him now that you see he's obviously not really the villain, he's more like the neutral character? Well, I find that interesting because it's like the whole time I was thinking he was like this ultimate battle guy and he doesn't seem to be that way, which means right. that, you know, he, he, he doesn't... Okay, here's the thing. Shampa is clearly not a bad evil guy, but at the same time, he still is an antagonist. Right. Because he's still like opposing, you know, Beerus and the other Z fighters because, I mean, he wants to basically take their Earth. That's not a good thing to do. So... <laughs> So looking at it like that, I think that Shampa definitely has a lot going for him. But what I find interesting is that are, are we going to see another character who's going to be more evil than he is or to eclipse that? Because I, be. I be seriously, I, I cannot see this arc ending with this tournament. I just can't. No, 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 it's no. It's too no. open. I feel like what's going to happen is, is, is it's going to be similar with the Boo arc where this tournament will lead into... Yes. The tournament will happen. The fight will get probably interrupted. You know, there'll be a lot of craziness. The Super Dragon Balls will be used. There's a lot that's going to go into this actual arc. So, we, you know, we can expect a lot of action out of it. But ultimately, you know, I, I just feel like it's going in the right direction. And Shampa is a great character to start with. I, right. still, I still have a strong beliefs. And we're going to kind of veer off for a second and talk about another character. I feel like the Hit is going to be the character that's going to be pulling the strings in some way. Because he, to me, feels a lot more evil than everybody else. I feel like he is orchestrating something that's going to lock the gods away or something. I don't know. I feel like where we're going with this is, is Shampa and Beerus will be taken out of the picture temporarily, and then it'll be up to the warriors of both Universe 6 and 7 coming together to fight. But again, that's a whole other topic. I just want, kind of want to toss it out there just because, uh, you know, you brought up the whole evilness of, you know, what we're talking about. Right. I but mean... That's, mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, in, in terms of Vados, I think that even though we haven't learned much about her personality, I think that she's interesting because... She's going to compliment Whis, and I think that complimenting Whis is great because we're going to learn more about, like, what her role is in the universe alongside Whis right. himself. Right, right. What, what was your uh, favorite thing about both the characters? I mean, obviously, well, you only have one episode to go off of, but, like, what did you like the most about them? Well, Vados, I like that she has a sense of humor when she was poking those fat jokes at, yes. <laughs> at Shampa. Mm -hmm. And what I like about Shampa is that, like, he has absolutely no fear of Beerus. Like, he's fatter, but, like... You know how, like, Goku and Vegeta were so, like, terrified of him? Like, he's, like, 
to hell with you. I'm fucking Shampa. I'm freaking Shampa. I can do whatever the hell I want. Right. And I like that personality that there's this guy who's just going to stand up to beers like, what are you going to do about it? And that adds yeah. a lot of tension towards the series. And I think well, yeah, that's they, what he has going for him. They got the brotherly relationship, which I like too. It's, it's fun to see both of them come together and clash. And I, I want to see more of the history. I mean, obviously, we saw a brief fight that they got into in the manga, and I'm hoping that they port, you know, portray that in the anime as well. And we also saw a small scuffle, we'll call it, that they got into prior to Whis and Vados stepping in. But ultimately, I think they're both great characters. Like I said, with you, I agree with Vados. I like that she has a sense of humor. She's also very serious, but she has a sense of humor on the side where she's like, you know, not taking everything too serious, which is kind of like how Whis is as well. Whis is kind of laid back. And then with Shampa, what I like is, I just like the fact that he's such a goof. He's a jokester. The, something, the thing that we've been kind of like missing in Dragon Ball Z, well, I wouldn't say it was missing, but, you know, compared to Dragon Ball, it was kind of missing, was that, uh, you know, um, Dragon Ball Z was more serious. It kind of like took away the comedy that Dragon Ball had, and it brought that back with, Dra- with Dragon Ball Super. And, right. of course, they introduced Jocko. They had a bunch of those lighthearted moments that happened in uh, in the beginning with Dragon Ball Super. And now we have Shampa, who literally is the epitome of super powerful, badass, awesome, hilarious comedy character. And I cannot wait to see what else, you know, Toriyama will give us with this character. Like that's that, that's that's why I like his character so much. So essentially, my first impressions are I I enjoy him. He's awesome. He's funny. He's great. Yeah. A lot of room for a lot of room for development too. Yeah, and the thing about what I noticed is he's a complete opposite of Beerus too. Like <laughs> I feel like how Beerus suck at, oh suck out seeked out I don't know if that's the right word seeked out the Super Saiyan God. I feel like you know Shampoo will never do. Shampoo will be like hey yo come here. Let's just. C- c- come over so we can fight or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't even seem like Shampa would probably even care much about that, to be honest. Yeah. Is there anything you're expecting out of Shampa's character? Like, uh, because I remember in the beginning, you know, when, when Super was first announced, you assumed that he was the villain. You assumed that he has he was doing something special. He was going to. I, I think it was me who said he planned on uh, taking away Beerus's powers. And now again, I'm with you. I'm wrong uh, on that guess. But is there any, any expectations you have on Beerus? Not Beerus not yes, Shampa's character? I think that Shampa's probably going to make a selfish or negative wish. I still think he is a secretly bad villain because the reason I'm saying this is why else would he want the Super Dragon Balls? Like, I don't think if, if he really right. wants the Super Dragon Balls that bad, he can't want them for a positive gain. Right. I mean, he know? obviously was already collecting them prior to this you know tournament even happening. If it wasn't for Earth, they wouldn't. They probably wouldn't have gotten together. Uh, well, they would have gotten still together for their, for their showdown, but they probably wouldn't get together for this tournament. So that makes sense. Yep, I agree. Yeah, uh, there's one last thing I wanted to say before we end this video, but I completely blanked out on it. I'm probably going to get it in my mind in a couple seconds. Uh, no, probably not. Okay, I, whatever. Uh, what about Vados? Do you have any expectations with Vados? Vados, I definitely think that at some point throughout the series, before, after I do, actually after I do my theory video that's coming out soon, I think that more is going to be released about like her backstory with Weiss and like so. what their role is because I really have a serious theory on what I think their role is actually supposed to be. You want to give us a small preview on that? Uh, let's just say it might have to do with keeping people in check. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, we'll talk about that off camera. You know, we'll talk about off camera. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's going to be in the comments like, no, talk about it now. Talk about it. We'll talk about it off camera. Maybe, you know, you guys can check out Kwame's video whenever it comes down to that. But, but yeah, I mean, it's a kind of a short video. There's really not much we can say because, like I said, we only got a small glimpse of both Shampa's and Vilas's character. But again, off of seeing them, you know, the initial reactions were just like how they were with Beerus. When people first saw Shampa, they're like, "Really, Toriyama? This is the best you can give us? He's literally just Beerus again." And people weren't unhappy. But now that you guys got a chance to see Shampa's character, to those who did watch episode 28. What is it that you guys think about him? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. What you don't like about him, what you like about him, basically any anything out there that you think about Shampa and Vados as well, comment it below. That's the whole point of this Let's Talk video, just to kind of break down the community's perspective of um, these new characters in Universe 6. Uh, but Kwame, is there anything else we want to talk about before we end this? No, I'm pretty good. I'm ready and set to go, my friend. <laughs> you know, the only thing that bothers me is I, there's one else. There's one other thing that I want to uh, toss out there or bring up, uh, which you know when I had early when I had my brain fart earlier, that I can't remember what, what it was. And I know the second I end this video and upload it, it's going to like uh, like snap into my mind. Like, oh, that's what it was. And I can't remember what it was. Oh my gosh, this is bothering me. <laughs> it's killing me. Whatever. It is what it is. If I if I, if I remember it, I'll you know make a comment about it. But for now, 
Uh, those are our thoughts on Champion Vados. They're also awesome, the funny, hilarious, and we can't wait to see what they're going to do in that Dragon Ball Super Series. So, of course, we want to hear from you guys as well. So, comment below your thoughts on Champa and Vados. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Your initial reaction as well, because we want to see how your reactions change. Because, like I said, with me, when I first saw Beerus, I was kind of like, yeah, it's basically a Pokemon to changing all the way to thinking, oh, Beerus is freaking awesome. He's my favorite character. So, if you had that kind of change too, feel free to comment below or anything else you're thinking. But other than that, I guess. Uh, Stay tuned for Kwame's video on Vados and Whis as well, right? Yes. Uh, whenever that gets done. And I guess we'll see you guys on Sunday with episode 29, <laughs> where hopefully we'll get some more information on these two characters. Well, actually, I think this, this weekend is just going to be about Monaka, isn't it? Yep, mostly. Nipples! Hashtag nipples in the comment section below. No, the great nipples in the comment section below. If you made it all the way through, check out Kwame as well. And I guess we'll see all your amazing people in the comment section below. And please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, Clayton.